Hi everybody, this is part two of my video series and this we're going to make some propeller blades. In part one we made the molds. Now, in part one I had made about five or six different resin molds and I didn't like any of them because of the way the trailing edges and leading edges worked out. I was tired of wasting money on resins so I made some out of automo automotive bondo. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video and you'll understand what I did. Basically we're going to take carbon fiber, we cut it out, place it in the mold, First, we make sure we wax it and we uh, use mold release, put the resin in, put the carbon fiber in, and if all works out as I think it will, we will have some carbon fiber propellers. Thanks a lot, everybody. The first step for a successful part that you're going to make out of your mold is to make sure that you put enough parting agent on. You should always have five coats of wax on your mold and then put the mold release on in three different applications. The first one is a mist to make sure it doesn't beat up on the mold. Once it's dried, you can put on two heavier coats. The coat you're seeing right now is my third and heaviest coat so that my parts will pop out of the mold. Just take your time. It takes a little bit of work to do this right, but once you've done it, it will work great. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take resin, and I always put it in a paper plate because it doesn't get as warm as fast. Resin has to get warm to cure. So by putting in this paper plate, it spreads out and it doesn't cure nearly as quick as if it was in a cup. Now, what I do is I get the mold really wet with the resin to make sure I don't have any dry spots, which will create air bubbles in my uh, uh, part when it's done, and you hate to fill those with you know puttier with paint. I like to try to have it as solid as possible. So make sure you get in plenty of resin here. And I mean I really slop it in at first. Now if you get too much in you can always take a piece of uh, paper towel and sponge it back off it. But make sure you keep your fingers clean. Make sure that you get plenty of resin in there and make sure everything's wet. Here I'm applying the trailing edge uh, I'm sorry, the leading edge of the propeller with a piece of one inch carbon fiber tape that I cut out of the 4.75 ounce carbon fiber. I do this on both the leading and trailing edge to create strength in the prop. I don't want to build up a whole bunch of layers of carbon fiber in the entire prop area. So I do the front and leading edge, I'm sorry, the front leading edge and the rear trailing edge of the propeller this way then I get a lot of resin in there. I'm going to now take a piece of little scrap carbon fiber and um, put it where the wooden block will go that the mounting screws go through. Make sure you keep trimming everything away from this because any excess carbon fiber will prevent your molds from fitting tight. Here you can see me putting in a little bit of scrap carbon fiber just to make sure that it covers the entire mold and also where the hardwood mount will go in the uh, uh, for the hub of the propeller. Okay, and then here you can see I'm working in more resin to make sure everything's good and wet in there. Okay, now the next thing to do is to uh, make sure you're prepping all of this and getting it all evenly um, thinned out so that when you put your next full layer of carbon fiber in there, the uh, all the parts will um, you know, blend together well. It's really important to make sure you don't have any air pockets in there, you don't have any place that the carbon fiber could be parting. So here I've got one more layer, and this is for the front of the propeller. So the front face of the propeller will have two layers of carbon fiber with two pieces of um, uh, one inch tape in there and then I'll get this all really good and wet. Again, if you think you've got too much in there, you can always take a piece of pop paper towel and you can kind of dab it in there and suck out any extra resin. But it's really, really imperative to make sure everything's well blended in there to get uh, the proper bond you want. If you have any air bubbles in there, that's just creating weakness. Okay, now here I'm working on the back half of the propeller and it's um, you know, same thing. You want to have a really wet mold. You really want to work it in there, and you want to make sure that you trim away any extra carbon fiber there is. So here I'm using my fingers just to make sure I'm pressing it in tight to the mold. 
if you do not press it tight, you can end up with little air bubbles between the carbon fiber and the um, mold. So when you pop the part out, you'll see all these little pinholes, and those are a real pain in the butt. So here you can see I'm putting in the uh, trailing edge of the uh, rear, rear half of the propeller, and I'll use more resin to get it good and wet. Okay, I'm going to trim away any extra carbon fiber. Then I'm going to take another piece of the tape I made. Now this is tape I cut out of my um, big um, four yards long, 50 inch wide carbon fiber I purchased. Okay, it's just really important to make sure that you really trim everything, get everything good and wet, and just keep working it in there. Okay, now back to the show. Sorry about that brief interruption. My video camera had stopped right there, so we started back up. I've actually sped up the video just a little bit more now so we can get through this. Here I'm mixing some of the West Systems 404, which is a thickening agent, but it's very, very dense, so it doesn't weaken uh, the uh, resin. What I'm going to do here is go around the perimeter of both the front half and the back half of the propeller, and this is what I use to glue the two halves together. Now I put a liberal amount in the middle hub where the uh, hardwood blocks can go, and then I go around the perimeter. When I go to build the props that I'm actually going to fly on the C-130, I will probably be a little bit more careful about exactly how much I put on there. But the way this has worked so far is in when I did my first test propeller, when I put these two halves together, there's actually an air pocket in there. And when I squeeze it together, it actually pushes this out into the outside of the mold, which hopefully we'll see when um, I go to part these once they've cured. So here you can see I'm putting in the hardwood block that I pre-cut, and I'm pushing it down in there, and I'm working out um, the glue the uh, resin, the thickened resin, and then I'm doing the same on the other half. It's very important to make sure you go around the entire perimeter here, because if you don't, you might end up with a little bit of a uh, opening or a, a gap where the two halves are not uh, properly glued together. So just take your time here, make sure that you uh, really get it all the way around the perimeter. And uh, here in a second you're going to see me put the two halves together. Here I'm still working it in a little bit to make sure it's pretty even and smooth. And make sure everything's wet in there. You don't want any air bubbles anywhere. Make sure you really go around and make sure there's no air bubbles. So here we're going to take the two halves and we're going to put them together. And then I'm going to let it set for at least four hours for it to start to cure. And it will take 24 hours to be completely cured. So let's see what happens when I open it up. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the two parts of uh, the mold apart and see what's going on inside here. If this worked right, it uh, should pop apart and the mold will look like it's um, glass smooth. I'm sorry, the part will look glass smooth. And the mold will also look glass smooth where it popped out of there. It won't damage the mold at all. It takes a little bit of force to get this popped apart, but once it does, it just, it just bangs. It comes right apart. So here it came out perfect. You can see the shine in it. It's stiff. Um, it's only cured about four hours, and I did use the um, fast hardener. I'm going to pop the propeller blade out here very carefully just to make sure I didn't get any air bubbles anywhere. Because at this point, if I did, I'll throw the propeller away and start all over in a new one. I don't want to let it set 24 hours and waste that much time in the mold. So here we go. We pop it out, and it looks really, really good. I mean, it basically came out perfect. You can see all the resin that squeezed out around the perimeter from the prop because there's actually an air bubble in the middle of that prop. It's airtight in there, uh, and it's hollow. That prop came out to be about 1.4 ounce, and uh, that's exactly what I was hoping. I was hoping it was under 1.5, 1.6 ounces, and that entire propeller blade there weighs 1.4 ounces. So now I'm just going around the perimeter very carefully with an X-Acto knife. And uh, I've got a old superstition. The more I cut myself on an airplane, the better it flies. One time I built an airplane where I never cut myself once. The damn thing crashed on takeoff. It was tail heavy. So, uh, which is my fault. I should have checked the CG and all, done all the calcs on it. But just carefully, um, you know, cut away any of the resin that squirt out around the outside. And you're basically going to sand it down uh, the perimeter and make sure, you know, everything's basically right. It's really important at this time just to take your time and just make sure that you're working the prop right. 
And here you can just see me cutting away little parts and pieces. It's just important to uh, be patient with this. Uh, it takes me about uh, one day to build a blade. I can usually, I can sometimes do two blades a day. By once I pop this out, I'll put that blade into another mold I don't like a lot, but the mold's good enough to make sure that it cures true. Uh, the most I've ever been able to build in a day is three test props, but I think that's pushing it. If I can do two a day, it will just take me 20 days to make all the propellers I need. Here you can actually see that I'm peeling away a very thin layer of the parting agent. It's almost like it's plastic wrapped right there. You can see me peel it away. And if you look at that prop, it is just flawless. I mean, it's just a beautiful uh, work of art. I can't believe I built something like this in less than basically two months. Uh, total hours in this has been only about 16 hours because I have a real job and I can only do this after 10 o'clock at night. But here I'm still just peeling away some of it and uh, it's basically perfect what I want. I give this propeller, I mean it's very strong, I'm going to do some stress testing, but as far as I'm concerned, concerned this is a perfect propeller. So thanks everybody, and that's how I built a carbon fiber propeller.